In 2009, Iceland's energy company, Islensk Orkufelag, embarked on an ambitious geothermal drilling project in the area of Krafla, a volcanic caldera. The goal was to drill nearly three miles deep to tap into the Earth's heat, but the project took an unexpected turn when the drill kept getting stuck at the same depth. When the team finally managed to free the drill, they discovered hardened glass and melted rock, proof that they had drilled straight into a magma chamber. It was a shocking revelation. No one anticipated that there would be such a large pocket of molten rock so close to the surface. Geothermal energy isn't new for Iceland. For decades, the country has relied on deep drilling to harness this renewable energy. About 80 years ago, Iceland transitioned from oil and coal to nearly 90% geothermal energy for heating, propelling it from one of the poorest nations in Europe to one of the wealthiest. Iceland's abundant geothermal energy, sourced from volcanic activity, powers nearly 70% of its electricity and is renewable and reliable, unlike solar or wind power, which can be intermittent. The country's unique geological setting, located along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, makes it ideal for geothermal energy. Iceland sits atop a network of more than 200 volcanoes, and the tectonic activity along this boundary produces continuous heat and pressure deep within the Earth. This makes it possible to tap into geothermal wells, which provide clean energy. But now, Iceland is preparing for a groundbreaking new project, drilling into an active magma chamber intentionally. The Krafla Magma Test Bed, KMT project, aims to extract energy directly from a magma chamber located just one to two miles beneath the surface, where temperatures reach up to 2,372 degrees Fahrenheit. 1,300 degrees Celsius. The idea is to tap into this extreme heat to generate an even more powerful form of geothermal energy. Traditional geothermal wells reach temperatures of around 392 degrees Fahrenheit to 572 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius to 300 degrees Celsius. But the energy produced by magma could be up to 10 times greater. Drilling into magma is no small feat. The drill must withstand not just extreme temperatures, but also molten rock and intense pressure. In 2009, the first attempt revealed that drilling into a magma chamber wouldn't necessarily trigger an eruption. The steel drill casings were destroyed, but no eruption occurred, which offered scientists crucial insights. The KMT project is expected to start drilling in 2026, with the first well completed by 2027. For the first time, sensors will be placed directly into the magma chamber to study its temperature, pressure, and chemistry. This could revolutionize the understanding of volcanic behavior and help improve eruption predictions. In addition, the data could help make geothermal energy even more efficient by revealing how heat can be harnessed effectively and sustainably. Once the well reaches the magma, a steel casing will be inserted to withstand the heat and chemical composition of molten rock. Concrete will seal the well, and smaller drills will penetrate the magma to collect samples and implant sensors. This step is critical for assessing whether the magma remains stable over time, and whether the well can sustain heat over decades. Harnessing energy directly from the magma chamber would involve using a heat exchanger system. Superheated steam from the magma will be pumped up and passed through pipes filled with water. The water will boil, producing steam that will spin turbines to generate electricity. The cooled magma liquid will be returned underground to heat up again, creating a continuous loop. This system has the potential to power entire communities with fewer wells, reducing the need for 18 conventional wells to just two magma wells which could provide enough energy for 30,000 homes. Geothermal energy from magma could be a game-changer, not just for Iceland, but for other volcanic regions around the world. Places like Hawaii, Kenya, and even parts of the Pacific Ring of Fire with their shallow magma chambers could tap into this powerful energy source. While drilling deeper in these areas might be more expensive, the long-term benefits could be significant. Drilling into volcanoes is not without risk. 
The 2010 eruption of Ejafjallajökull in Iceland demonstrated the global impact of volcanic activity, with its ash cloud leading to massive flight cancellations and economic losses. While the KMT project aims to provide new insights into volcanic systems to better predict eruptions, it does not come without concerns about safety and potential risks of triggering an eruption. The lessons learned from the 2009 drilling incident are vital as they proved that magma chambers can be tapped without causing eruptions. With geothermal wells capable of producing 10 times the energy of standard geothermal systems, the KMT project represents an ambitious step forward in renewable energy. If successful, it could not only meet Iceland's energy needs more efficiently, but could also inspire similar projects worldwide, pushing humanity further toward a future powered by clean and sustainable energy.